Today we're going to have some reflections and some silhouettes in this image of Oceanside Pier. Hi everyone, I'm Scott Davenport and welcome back to In Post. And this week is a little interesting. Uh, I have some travel coming up and I am pre-recording this session and I haven't actually done the processing of the image yet. I've got them in the machine and I have a pretty good idea of what I'm going to do with it. And there's one shot in particular that's uh, right around sunset, nice silhouette of this pier, some pretty nice um, reflections in the water. I don't think a lot is going to have to be done to this image post-processing. So um, when you're listening to the, uh, the on-screen, you know, me in front of the computer part of this, that's where you're going to hear my more you know, aha moments or insights or observations. Uh, but I did want to have at least an intro to this video and um, taking care of that before I've got to jump on a plane. So with that, let's get over to the computer and start processing this image. So here's just a few of the images that I took while I was out at Oceanside Pier. Uh, did some long exposure work, uh, stayed well after sunset to get some moodier shots, uh, you know, some close-ups, nice silhouettes of the boat. But this one here is the one I'm going to show you uh, the processing on today. Um, I really liked the, uh, this, you know, the composition's nice. I like the symmetry of the, the sky reflecting in the uh, sheen of the sand here. But what sold me on it was the silhouette of these two folks here. There are people on the pier itself, so you get a very good sense of scale between these people kind of, um, you know, foreground but not right up in the front uh, with the entire pier. I just, yeah, this really just came nicely together. And so let me show you, um, here's what came out of the camera. So pretty darn close. You can see uh, some, some swimmers that are still in the ocean there, and uh, this couple had a child that was running around quite a bit, so they blurred out with this... Uh, exposure of a couple of seconds. And then here's the final thing, really mainly just warming it up a little bit, adding a little bit of definition in, in crispness for uh, the pier itself. So um, I did all of this within Aperture. So the um, main piece here, the retouching, I'll toggle that on and off. You're going to see you know, lots of the people that I found to be distracting in the composition gone, and some dust spots and things like that as well. Slight bit of chromatic aberration when you're looking at the pier itself at 100%, zooming in here, so where these high contrast areas were coming through in the sun there, I had to deal with uh, the aberration. Next was white balance, very subtle touch, just to warm it up a little bit. Yeah, I wanted that warm sun is going down, more oranges in the sky. Exposure was primarily to set the white and black points, and in aperture, um, I did nothing with the exposure. I did bring the recovery slider up to bring back some of the detail around the sun itself. This is going to be blown out. You're shooting into the sun. That's not a problem, and that looks natural. But some of the surrounding clouds, bringing that recovery in, helped quite a bit, and adjusting the black point just so there's a touch of pure blacks. An enhance uh, definition, which is you know your local contrast, adding that, and a little bit of vibrancy, just to punch up the colors a little bit. Um, the magic with the warmth is really in the curves. So the first curve here, let me switch over, I believe I played with the green channel. This uh, had a greenish cast once I'd finished some of these adjustments. I'll toggle this off, and uh, you can see this is kind of how it looked a little more out of the camera, a little more yellowish green coming through. I toned that down a bit just to cut that back. Very gentle tug down on the curve, and that was all that was needed there. And then to highlight the oranges with the red channel, kind of using this center point as an anchor and just tugging up the reds ever so slightly to you know, get more of the reds and oranges in the sky. So before that and then after. A subtle change, uh, but all these are just subtle small things and they're adding up. Highlights and shadows, opened up the shadows just a little bit and that was more for the foreground areas that gotten a little dark, these darker shadows, the clouds were quite dark, and so reflecting in the darker sand, that was uh, the minor touch there. In a color brick, uh, choosing orange, so you use this picker, pick the color, and just pop the saturation 
ever so slightly. So before and after. Really subtle. I'm not even sure if that's going to come through in the video. Last but not least, a vignette. That's also just a tiny touch off and on. Very little bit you'll see in the corners here. And finally, some sharpening. So the sharpening, um, since this was a raw image, I did a general 50% um, or so within the brush. You can go here. Within the brush overall, just for the entire photo. And then some additional sharpening on the pier itself. And that was it. So at the end of all of this, now here's the original that came out of the camera. And here's after. So that is the final image, and you know, it's one of those ones where even when I was taking the shot, you're looking at the scene and you're saying, you know, wow, this color's great, you know, the, the, this one, the silhouettes were nice, and when you don't need too much processing, it kind of means, you know, you've got a really good image to, you know, to, to work from, and it also means you get to go back out and shoot more and spend a little less time in front of the computer. That's it for this week in post. Hope you picked up a tip or two that you can use for your photography. And speaking of your photography, I'd like to see your work. Please share it with me. You can contact me through my website. It's got the links to all of my social media sites. Shoot me a message. Share some work. Let me know that you're out there and uh, getting something out of these videos. That's always helpful to me. Helps keep me going. So until next time, have a great week, and I'll see you again soon.